You might have seen antibiotic resistance on the news lately, and it can be pretty scary. So you might have also wondered, how does antibiotic resistance arise? And let's break it down. So there are two main mechanisms, and the first one is called gene mutations. If a bacteria acquires a mutation in its DNA that allows it to survive antibiotic treatment, then these persistent bacteria will then be able to survive into the next round, which leads to antibiotic resistance. But that's not all, and here's where it gets interesting. So imagine if we could collect and trade our genes, like Pokemon cards, to gain new traits. Well, bacteria can do something like that, and it's called horizontal gene transfer. And here's how it works. The genes are carried through vectors called plasmids that can spread the gene around from bacteria to bacteria because of a mechanism called conjugation. The donor bacterium forms a tube called a pilus connecting the two bacteria. The double-stranded plasmid DNA then unravels, and one strand of the plasmid DNA transfers through the pilus to arrive in the recipient bacteria. So what's the point? Well, because of horizontal gene transfer, bacteria can actually spread the resistance genes in a population very quickly, which is why it's critical for us to use our antibiotics correctly, so we don't create an even stronger selective pressure for the bacteria to evolve resistance against the antibiotic. 